ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the series finale of the White House Correspondents' Dinner. <laughs> oh, man. My name is Hassan Minaj, or as I'll be known in a few weeks, number 830287. I would say it is an honor to be here, but that would be an alternative fact. It is not. Uh, no one wanted to do this. So of course, it lands in the hands of an immigrant. It's how it always goes down. Now, a lot of people think Steve Bannon is the reason Donald Trump dog whistles to racists. And that is just not true. Ask Steve Bannon. Is Steve Bannon here? I do not see Steve Bannon. I do not see Steve Bannon. Not see Steve Bannon. Not see Steve Bannon. Jeff Sessions couldn't be here tonight. He was busy doing a pre-Civil War reenactment. On his RSVP, he just wrote no, just no, which happens to be his second favorite N-word. Now, I know some of you are wondering, Hassan, how do you know so much about Fox News? Well, as a Muslim, I like to watch Fox News for the same reason I like to play Call of Duty. Sometimes, I like to turn my brain off and watch strangers insult my family and heritage. <laughs> MSNBC is here tonight, and I'm glad you guys are here tonight. That way, if I'm bombing, Brian Williams will describe it as stunning. <laughs> it's hard to trust you guys when you send us so many mixed messages. On one hand, you tell us the prison industrial complex is the problem, and then you air five straight hours of lockup. You can't be mad at corporations profiting off of minorities in prison when you're a corporation profiting off of minorities in prison. <laughs> it's like... It's this amazing tradition that shows the entire world that even the president is not beyond the reach of the First Amendment. But the president didn't show up. Because Donald Trump doesn't care about free speech. The man who tweets everything that enters his head refuses to acknowledge the amendment that allows him to do it. Think about it, it's, a, it's almost, what is it, 11? It's 11 p.m. right now, in four hours, Donald Trump will be tweeting about how bad Nicki Minaj bombed at this dinner. <laughs> and he'll be doing it completely sober. <laughs> and that's his right. And I'm proud that all of us are here tonight to defend that right, even if the man in the White House never would. 